In the heart of Arizona's vast deserts, where ancient spirits whisper through red rock canyons and endless skies, Michelle Chang's story began as a fusion of disparate cultures brought together by fate and love. Her father, Mr. Chang, arrived in America from Hong Kong under the directives of Heihachi Mishima, the powerful and ruthless head of the Mishima Zaibatsu, tasked with locating an ancient treasure believed to be hidden on Native American lands. As he ventured into the mysteries of the American Southwest, Mr. Chang found himself drawn into a world vastly different from the bustling streets of Hong Kong. The desert's stark beauty and the rich traditions of its indigenous people began to change him in ways he hadn't anticipated. He eventually found the treasure, but it was during this quest that Mr. Chang's path crossed with that of a Native American woman, a member of a local tribe and a guardian of her culture's lore and lands. Their initial encounters were cautious, marked by mutual curiosity. She saw in him a seeker of knowledge while he was captivated by her deep connection to the land and its hidden mysteries. As Mr. Chang spent more time with the tribe, learning their ways and sharing his own stories, a bond began to form between him and the woman. Their conversations, often lasting long into the star-filled desert nights, sparked a love that transcended cultural boundaries and the mission's initial mercenary goals. It was through this blossoming relationship that Mr. Chang discovered the true nature of the treasure he sought, a mysterious and ornate pendant believed to hold the power to control or awaken a powerful entity known as Ancient Ogre. Understanding the potential destruction such power could wreak if wielded by someone as ruthless as Heihachi, Mr. Chang made a fateful decision. He chose love, honor, and protection over his mission, opting to safeguard the pendant within his new family. Their union was celebrated in a ceremony that blended their two cultures. Incense and jade from the east met sage and turquoise from the west. It was a testament to the bridge they were building between their worlds, a bridge that would be embodied in their daughter, Michelle Chang. From the moment of her birth, Michelle was immersed in the rich tapestry of her cultural heritage. Her early years were filled with the stories of both her parents' worlds. Her mother taught her the ways of the tribe, how to listen to the wind, read the stars, and respect the delicate balance of nature. From her father, she learned of distant lands, ancient philosophies, and the importance of adaptability in the ever-changing world. Michelle's unique upbringing shaped her into a person of strong conviction, equally at home under the vast Arizona sky or navigating the complexities of modern society. She learned the traditional hunting techniques of her mother's tribe, their movements as ancient as the rocks themselves while also incorporating the disciplined martial arts her father had brought from the East. She became a formidable warrior in her own right. As Michelle matured, so did her understanding of the profound responsibility she inherited. The pendant, passed down to her on her 18th birthday, was more than just a family heirloom. It was a sacred trust, a link to powers beyond mortal understanding and a reminder of the sacrifice and love that had brought her parents together. Although her parents never outwardly explained the true implications behind the pendant, a decision made likely to protect her, she could sense it meant more than just a simple keepsake. Little did Michelle know that this legacy would soon thrust her into a world of conflict and challenge, testing the very foundations of the heritage that defined her the desert winds that had whispered lullabies in her childhood would soon carry the drums of an approaching storm, one that would shape her destiny and the fate of the world itself. On the day of Michelle's 18th birthday, after being gifted the pendant from her father, the serene rhythm of her life would be abruptly and violently disrupted. 
What should have been a day of celebration became the catalyst for a journey of vengeance and self-discovery. Michelle had routinely spent the morning in the desert, connecting with the land as her mother had taught her. The sun was setting as she made her way back home, casting long shadows across the red earth. As she approached their modest house, an unsettling stillness in the air made her pause. The front door stood slightly ajar, a sight unusual for their always cautious household. With growing apprehension, Michelle quickened her pace. As she entered, the heavy scent of copper hit her senses and her world tilted on its axis. Her mother sat crumpled on the floor, face streaked with tears, cradling the lifeless body of Michelle's father, Mr. Chang. The room bore signs of a violent struggle, overturned furniture, shattered glass, and the unmistakable evidence of a life brutally taken. Mother? What happened? Who did this? Through sobs, her mother recounted the horrifying events. Men had come, ruthless and efficient, demanding the pendant that Mr. Chang had been sent to retrieve years ago. When he refused, explaining that it was no longer in his possession, they attacked without mercy. Your father, he fought so bravely, he protected the family to his last breath. It was Heihachi Mishima. Your father always feared this day might come. Heihachi never forgave him for choosing us over the mission. Michelle's hand instinctively went to the pendant around her neck, the very object that had cost her father his life. In that moment, as the last rays of sunlight faded from the sky, Michelle made a vow. I'll make Heihachi pay for this. Father's death will not be in vain. You mustn't go after him, Michelle. Heihachi is a very dangerous man. In the days that followed, as Michelle grappled with her grief and anger, she began to search for ways to reach Heihachi Mishima. It was during this time that she stumbled upon an advertisement for the King of Iron Fist tournament. The promotional material boasted about the tournament's sponsor, none other than Heihachi Mishima himself. Michelle's heart raced as she realized this could be her opportunity. Not only would the tournament potentially bring her face to face with Heihachi, but it would also allow her to test her skills against the world's strongest fighters, preparing her for the ultimate confrontation. I'll enter the King of Iron Fist tournament. It's the only way to get close to Heihachi. I'll use everything you and father taught me. Michelle Chang stood at the threshold of a new chapter in her life. The peaceful existence she had known was gone, replaced by a burning need for justice. The King of Iron Fist tournament now represented more than just a martial arts competition. It was her path to confronting Heihachi Mishima and honoring her father's memory. With the weight of her heritage around her neck and the fire of vengeance in her heart, Michelle began to prepare for the challenges that lay ahead. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament. As the tournament began, the energy was electric. Fighters from every corner of the globe had gathered, each driven by their own motivations and desires. Michelle knew that every match would test her skills and her resolve. As Michelle prepared for her first match in the tournament, she was unaware that her opponent had a very personal interest in the pendant she carried. Kunimitsu, a former ninja of the Manji clan, had fallen on hard times after being forced out of the clan for thieving. Reduced to mending air conditioners for a living, she yearned for a way to reclaim her former glory and power. Fate intervened when Kunimitsu, while staking out the Mishima Zaibatsu building for a potential opportunity to steal anything of value from them, overheard employees discussing a priceless pendant in the possession of a young Native American woman. The pendant was said to hold immense power and was coveted by Heihachi Mishima himself. For Kunimitsu, this was more than just another potential score. It was a chance at true power. 
a means to ensure she would never be vulnerable again. Entering the King of Iron Fist tournament, Kunimitsu saw her opportunity to claim the treasure for herself. As she faced off against Michelle, her eyes glinted with determination and greed. This pendant. It's a part of my heritage. A legacy I am bound to protect. I will never give it to you. Michelle Chang versus Kunimitsu. Ninja launched a flurry of attacks, each strike aimed at wearing down Michelle's defenses. But Michelle stood firm, drawing strength from her connection to the earth and the wisdom of her ancestors. The final blow caught Kunimitsu off guard, sending her sprawling to the ground. This pendant stays with me. Find your own path. This one isn't yours to take. Defeated but defiant, Kunimitsu retreated, her dreams of easy power shattered, but her resolve unbroken. For Michelle, this victory was another step towards her goal, advancing in the tournament to the coveted encounter with Heihachi. As Michelle stepped into the arena for her next match, she found herself face to face with Nina Williams, a cold and calculating assassin whose reputation preceded her. The air seemed to chill as Nina's icy gaze met Michelle's determined eyes. Father, give me the strength to win this battle. What are you talking about? Nobody will fight your battles for you. Heihachi killed my father. I must win this tournament to avenge his death. It's my duty as his daughter. This is nothing personal. Avenging a dead man won't bring him back. You're chasing ghosts, just like I thought. How dare you! My father's memory deserves respect. Respect is earned in the living world, not by clinging to memories. Let's get this over with. Michelle Chang versus Nina Williams. Michelle found herself struggling to maintain her focus. Nina's dismissal of her cause had struck a nerve, and she felt her emotions threatening to overwhelm her carefully honed skills. Each of Nina's precise attacks seemed to echo her cold words, further unsettling Michelle's resolve. With a decisive strike, Nina ended the match, leaving Michelle defeated on the arena floor. As the reality of her loss sank in, Michelle felt not just the physical pain of defeat, but the crushing weight of her unfulfilled vengeance. As Nina walked away advancing in the tournament, Michelle was left to grapple with the harsh truths the assassin had forced her to confront. Her journey in the tournament had come to an end, but the real battle, the one within herself, was far from over. In the quiet aftermath of her defeat, Michelle began to question, was she truly honoring her father's memory? Or was she, as Nina suggested, simply chasing ghosts, simply chasing revenge? After returning from the tournament, Michelle found herself back in the familiar landscapes of her Arizona home. The desert's vast expanse provided a stark contrast to the intense, crowded arenas she had left behind. As she walked through the sun-baked terrain, her mind wrestled with the events of the past weeks. Nina's cold words echoed in her thoughts. 
Initially, these words had stung, but now they prompted deeper reflection. How could she truly honor her father's memory? Was revenge the only path? Or was there a way to carry his legacy forward that didn't revolve around Heihachi Mishima? As she pondered these questions, Michelle's hand instinctively went to the pendant around her neck. She felt a faint pulse of energy, almost in tune with her own heartbeat. It was then that she realized there was more to this artifact than her father had ever revealed. In the weeks that followed, Michelle dedicated herself to unraveling the mysteries of the pendant. She consulted tribal elders, pored over ancient texts, and spent long nights meditating in the desert, seeking to understand the power she now carried. Gradually, she began to sense a connection between the pendant and something ancient and powerful an entity her research suggested might be a connection to the tale of the legendary ogre. This revelation both excited and terrified her. Her parents had protected this secret to shield her from the dangers it presented. Now she understood that her role as guardian extended far beyond a simple piece of jewelry. As she delved deeper into her studies, Michelle found a new purpose emerging. She wasn't just protecting a relic or avenging her father. She was safeguarding a power that could shape the state of the world. This realization brought with it a sense of peace and renewed determination. As the sun began to set, painting the desert sky in brilliant hues of orange and purple, Michelle made her way home to her mother. Her bag was heavy with books and notes from her latest research trip but her heart felt lighter than it had in months. She was ready to move on and learn more about her heritage and the legacy her father had left for her. I love you, father. I promise, I'll make you proud.